Hey guys, welcome back to FTB Skies, episode 11. I hope you're having a good day, because every day is a good day to have a great day. Guys, behind me, I did some work on the base. Now, I believe I will do one side of camera and then we will do a time lapse of the other side. It's just that I don't know how this thing should look, but it's looking cool. This is the first turbine. Right, let's get on to it, guys. In today's episode, we're doing elemental craft from zero to almost a pro i guess so elemental craft i'm a complete nobody so but hopefully we become good at it together first thing first we need element sources now this can be found in the world but you can also make your own and i believe the best way to get them i got my first one from a loot but to get them manually you need to trade with a shady wizard which is villager with an arcane board that's amazing Right. Inner crystals we get from sifting crushed neverak and I believe we've got quite a few of them. Yeah, twenty-three thousand. We'll need to make a recipe for contained crystals. Yes, we need to craft a few of those. Let's do that. We'll need an element extractor and a small container to make those. And we get some more pipes and another element. We gotta place the container, the extractor on top, and then a source on top. Noise. And we've got water, guys. This is actually what I need. Let's see what else we get. I'll need fire. Oh no. Oh yeah. We've got one of each. Next thing, guys, is an element infuser, which is placed on another element container. You must use a pipe to transfer the element, and you need to right-click the pipe at the site where you want to extract. Now, each element, guys, can infuse an item into another item. Water infuses iron ingots into drenched iron ingots. Earth infuses stone into white rock. Fire infuses glass into burnt glass and air infuses string into air silk. At this point, we had enough materials to progress further and change the small element containers into just element containers, which store a hundred thousand element instead of a thousand. I think it's a thousand for the small one. Then I tried a very noobish setup with pipes to semi-automate the infusers, and it actually did work. And we got our first drenched iron, which we also needed for the quest. So guys, drenched iron is done. Go ahead and handle that noise. We just need elementium ingots. But that's for another episode. We will also need crystals of each element, which is basically inner crystals going into an element infuser with that element. Now we've got one of each. I'm just going to filter them. Right, that's perfect. And let's put some chest like so. Perfection. And I've put two stacks of inner crystals crystals into each element. Progress report. We are making everything. Drenched iron, water crystal, earth crystals, white rock, fire crystals, burn glass, air crystals, and air seal. The next thing I need is more air, and I'm just gonna make another element container. Place an element source. It's not air. We do it until we get air. I'm not sure if there's a better way. <laughs> because I'm a noob, guys, and place the extractor, like so. Now, on top of this thing, we need an element binder, like so. We've got a cluster, a sprinkling cluster from a quest reward. Now, this because it has fortune 4, 20 shards. All right, so I drag the cable, and we have a Emmy pattern provider facing in the element binder. Now, let's uh, change the blocking mode, so it does one at a time, and then we need swift alloy ingots. We place that here and we actually make that missing air crystal missing drenched iron of course we are let's place some of these into the system and let's try that once again all right that works we need an import bus like a so all right let's see that once more in action oh no it's taking away the ingredients filter swift alloy ingot All right let's test that once more and it does work that's amazing and we make 64 swift alloy ingots that is part of the overpowered quest it's right here the next thing in line is fire ingots but we also need 16 pure crystal which is what we're going to do next but first we'll need the same setup water 
All right, we got the water set. Now we need to make the recipes. Oh no, guys, that's what happens <laughs> when you forget to click here. Next thing we needed to make is source stabilizers and they needed sprinkling glass. We crafted 10 and I thought you just place them on the source, but actually you need to analyze them with the analyzer, which takes a sprinkling shard each time you analyze a new source. So we did that and then placed the stabilizers. We also discovered that the sources that we create are absolute poop. Progress report guys, I've automated the element infusers. We've got the pattern providers and of course, don't forget this guy, very important. And then we've got the import bus with filters of the items we want because thing is looking fantastic. Right, I guess the next step would be to make the same setup for the element binders, but fire and earth. Nice. So they are all done. The next thing we need is gem crystallizer. Let's leach some water. Powerful water star. Now, how do we do that? Oh, it needs a water crystal. I see. Well, let's test this out. All right. Oh, oh. How many can we add? Then it did work. Fine water gem. Nice. And what do we do with that? I guess we can make a few things. But the first thing I want to make is this a water pedestal. First. We need to filter this like a so, and then we should be able to just click on it and see if we can make it nice. We can let's start that. This guy should receive everything he needs. Well, it looks like it's working. Let's see. Noise water pedestal amazing. Now we just need a fire pedestal, an air pedestal, an earth pedestal, and a pure infuser. So we need a diamond. Nerf crystal, and we can place some earth shard. Yeah, this should work. Yeah, nice. We got a oh, pristine earth gem. Nice. See, let's put this back into the system. Earth pedestal. Oh no. Let's edit it. Put the pristine, and let's craft it. And there you go. I've got the earth pedestal, and I'm going to do exactly the same for the fire and air. And then we need a pure infuser this element infuser strongly contained crystal and a swift alloy and it's done all right guys we've got this setup going on we've got button provider going into a chest the items needed head into the chest and then they are distributed accordingly the diamond goes into the pure infuser and the crystals go into their corresponding pedestal now let's see, pure crystal. We'll need like 20 maybe. And of course, don't forget to change the blocking. It seems to be working. Noise. <laughs> We've got the first pure crystal. Now what do we make first? I think we should start with the improved element extractor. It's done. Move it. As you can see, the fire one is done faster than the rest of these guys are not doing good All right let's keep on doing that so we got the fourth crystal which means we're making the final improved element extractor for the pure crystals and from now on the pure crystals should start being made much faster and i also placed improved element by now that the pure crystals are going better we will craft some better element binders and maybe some reservoirs which store more energy element binder we need this and we got the fourth one All right this is still not going fast enough i guess i need more sources let's get more sources All right guys let's see i've added reservoirs uh yeah contain a lot of elements and let's see if uh, that helps so we need 16 of those for a quest let's see how fast is this done? I guess not that fast. I guess the next step is to get the runes. We will need the rune inscriber. The rune base needs white rock, which means the first thing we should upgrade and add more speed is the earth infuser. Right. I need one fire fire right in it. Let's see. Be able to make it. I need one pure crystal. Right. And this should give us four major runes later. 
base. Nice. All right. So we place the rune slate to air silk and the pristine air gem, and we need a high amount of air element. Then you take your rune inscription chisel, which is made like a so. The hardened handle is made in the element binder provided with earth and this ingredient. And you just hold it and right click. Noise. And that's our 50 plus speed rune. I guess next is the pure infuser. We'll need three runes and one for the pedestals. So, as well as one for the extractors. Wait, three? Oh my god. We'll need 12 speed runes for the extractors and seven for the pure infuser and pedestals. So that's 19. Jesus, we better automate this. All right, guys. So, this is what I'm going for. It's getting too complicated, I'm sorry. But we've got this gem crystallizer with an element container receiving air from our air reservoir. And the same goes into the next element container with the rune inscriber on top. I don't think we can automate the rune inscriber fully because I need to click it with a rune inscription chisel. But at least we can automate this, the pristine gem crystal. Pristine, that will be set to input pristine air gems and then we need a recipe for them which will be a diamond and a pure crystal and that goes here in the emmy pattern provider now let's test this out pure crystal should be starting to craft when that is finished it's going to well, that kind of works then we will need a recipe for the major rune slate and the actual zod rune now this one goes here the zod rune the major rune slit just goes into our molecular assembly. We've got the pristine gem. Let's try the Zod rune. I want two. Right, so it will craft a pure crystal and then the pristine air gem. Now let's see. Nice, this is here. Oh, no, 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 no. Of course, we need to set this filter and redo that. Let's do two and then let's do that. Noise. It's gonna work like that. Nice. Come on. Very nice. It's done. Amazing. Now let's put them, I'm guessing, into the pure infuser. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Now, can we place this on the pedestal? We can. All right. Amazing. Well, let me upgrade everything then. <laughs> I guess progress report. This guy is full on runes. These guys, the pedestals, all have a speed rune. B. Gem crystallizer has two speed. And this guy will need three. I'm guessing we will also upgrade the fire element binder. Uh, everything has been upgraded here. I don't think there's much we can do to further increase the effectivity. The last thing we need from this mod. 64 pyrite ingots. So let's craft those. And since we've upgraded everything, this should go quite fast. Yeah, they seem to be going fast enough. And we're crafting one already. Amazing. Well, this is going to be done in um, yeah, quite a time, to be honest. Because the pure crystals are taking a lot of time, these guys. Anyways. Alright guys, so it's been a couple of hours. I believe the ingots finished an hour ago. Alright, let's go here. Amazing. And I think that's all the elemental craft we will ever need. Now, guys, off camera, I've gone ahead and uh, done some building of the spaceship. Added some more trimming to the turbines. Added some stuff to the second floor. Covered this area up. Yeah, guys, in general... There has been some progression. And this floor is kind of finished. Kind of finished, not finished. Because it takes a lot of time. And this is what it looks so far. Hopefully you guys like it. Let me know if you have any suggestions. And yeah, this side, we will time lapse. But yeah guys, elemental craft is finished. Basically, there's not much left. There's spells, shrines, but you don't really need them. It's nothing they... Nothing special that they offer. All these setups are not necessary anymore. But it was fun. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. That would be an absolute blast and yeah, very helpful. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you come back for the next one. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.